this experiment, we'll be testing different types of ink and food colourings in order to identify the individual components that make them up. In the box we have paper towels, plastic cups, table salt, a pencil, scissors, pipettes, a clothes peg, vegetable oil, some food colouring, some pens and a packet of sweets. First of all, we want to cut ourselves a bit, a bit of tissue paper to be used as our stationary phase. You want to cut a thin strip of tissue paper about 3 cm wide and about 15 to 20 cm long. Just like this. On this bit of paper, we're wanting to put down either a bit of ink from a pen, some food colouring, or to transfer the dye from a sweet. When transferring your ink onto the paper, you want to make sure that you're putting a spot around 2 to 3 cm up from the bottom of the paper. The next thing we want to do is to create a solvent to allow the ink to travel up the paper. This can be done using either vegetable oil or just any sort of tap water mixed with a wee bit of salt. You want to add a couple of centimetres of water and a small amount of salt and mix to dissolve. Next, we're wanting to place the paper into the cup with the water touching just at the bottom. We don't want the water to be touching the spot that we've already put on. We can suspend the paper using the pencil and the clothes peg. You want to attach your paper strip to a pencil by looping round the pencil and attaching with a clothes peg. We then want to slowly drop this into the glass and allow the absorption of the water into the paper. As the water absorbs into the tissue paper, it should start reacting with the ink that we have already placed on there and you should start to see it travel up to the top of the paper. When this happens, certain parts of the ink from the pen that we've already put on are more soluble than others, allowing it to travel up the paper faster and should start separating into its basic components. Once the water or solvent that you're using has reached the top, you should see the separation of colours from your original ink spot you put on. You can remove the, the paper from the clip. You can either hang it up to dry vertically like that or place it on the drying rack provided in the box. Once the paper's dried out, the colours should be easier to see and you should see a lot more separation than we currently see just now. Another alternative to the same experiment is to use normal filter paper, or if you can't get that, coffee filters. What you want to do is you want to place the filter paper flat down, fold it in half, and in half again. Open back out, and in each segment you want to draw a circle in the middle of different colours, as so. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, just as long as you have a bit of ink on each side. You then want to fold up into a cone shape and try and place this into your cup with your solvent in it, trying to avoid the ink touching the water. Again, in this experiment, it will work exactly the same as just using a strip of tissue paper. However, you can get a lot more colours and it looks a lot nicer when it comes out. Just wait for the solvent to reach the top of the filter paper before taking out and allowing it to dry. Using different types of ink, food colouring and sweets, you can get different type of results depending on what you use. Don't be afraid to experiment with different types of markers and pens lying about the classroom, but most of all, enjoy yourself. Thank you.